Well, Peter, here at Gansey in Port St. Mary, we can see perhaps the most vivid demonstration of what this scheme is going to do because just ahead of us there are the pipes that join together to actually go into the sea. Now, presumably raw sewage is just going into the sea at the moment. That's right. So just beyond the end of the rocks is the end of the existing sea outfall and that discharges raw sewage from half of Port St. Mary continuously. And for decades that's been the accepted way of getting rid of sewage. That's right, since the turn of uh, the uh, 19th century, um, uh, raw sewage has been going out down that pipeline. So presumably when the wind and the tide is right, that's just getting carried back onto the beaches behind you? Uh, Bain of Karaki, uh, has its water tested um, every week and fails every year on water quality standards. doesn't meet any standard at all, primarily because of this outfall. So if we just spin round here now, we can see the actual work going on. That's going to collect together the sewage from which parts of the village? Um, it's from everything that's on the north side of uh, Port St Mary. Um, and this is brought into the tank that you see in front of you and then will be forwarded on to Miriveg for treatment uh, via a transmission main. And what route will that take? Will that go under the railway line? It will pass through the centre of uh, Port St Mary and eventually join the transmission main that will be laid from Port Erin through to Castletown through to Santon and then to Miriveg.